Hi everyone, I am Ludovico Bruno and this is Warfish 3D. Um, if you don't know Swarfish 3D and you don't have downloaded it yet, please visit us on Swarfish 3D where you can visit the website, discover all the features and the new quick guide here and from this button download you can access directly to the Food for Rhino page and download it for installing. So there are two um, ways to build a Swarfish hull object. The first is, is with an open beer wrap, so I can connect this surface here or I can also use the the ready-made surf uh, the ready-made uh, hull here and to close one half hull to a closed uh, swarfish hull object I can use this component the swarfish close hull okay so I connect the half hull to the half hull here and now it's working so we can see as output there is the closed B wrap that is my B wrap mirror my B wrap mirror okay if I want to to use my own surface here I can connect of course a B wrap right click set one B wrap click on my B wrap and then connect it okay if I move the B wrap the 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 half surface he tried to close okay if I move it across the exit plane of course this is not working to to import and to create a Swarfish shell object that we have here that is from a closed B wrap so I have prepared uh, for example, uh, let me show this. Okay. Okay. Let me delete this. I can create a Swarfish shell from a closed B wrap using this component here, the new Swarfish shell from closed B wrap. Of course, right now I have to connect B wrap that is closed here. Okay. So now is working there is like a, a sort of error detection for example if my object is not perfectly aligned with the with the X plane X Z plane or if I move it here I can see there is a warning message. So, um, the second step is run hydrostatic analysis. Once I have built my Swarfish shell object, I can connect it to the Swarfish underscore hydrostatic. Okay, and now I can connect the panel to my report and see that. I have a lot of properties written here. Okay, I can I can see now these properties is this is a quick report, but basically these properties are stored in my object, and I can access to to these properties one by one in the original unit in millimeters here. So we can inspect our object here with the Swarfish get property okay I had to connect my Swarfish hull coming as output from the hydrostatic here and if I move the mouse over the end component that is the name of the property that I want to extract I can see all the properties that I can extract starting from the name the volume length overall, beam overall, etc. So if I double click and write LOA that 
is the name of the length overall I can extract the properties here with the panel I can see the name of the properties the, the description the framework reference we are going to see in another tutorial what does it mean and the value okay so this is the value of the length overall in millimeters okay now here you can see it in meters because this is a quick report so if I create a multi-line data I can extract for example length overall beam overall and the volume okay now I have the three names three descriptions volume of the submerged hub the frame of reference of my property and the values I can also see what's happening with the geometries in this in this B rep uh, in this swarfish house so I can with the SF underscore deconstruct I can get not only the properties numerical properties here but I can also get the geometrical properties so let me hide all and hide also this okay so perfect so now we can see all the geometries related to my swarfish hull object I can with a double click geometry I can see one by one all these features so the first is the b-rep associated to hull so the, the first b-rep that I have imported here or the closed one if you have imported uh, an open b-rep Okay, with the bake, I can bake it into Rhino. Okay. The drawing waterline here, the design waterline, the center of buoyancy, the center of gravity that I don't have set right now okay so it's a null point we're going to see in another tutorial with the balance component uh, how we can set the gravity point the center of flotation the frame of reference that is a plane basically now is equal to the xy plane the immersed wrap this is very important okay the center of projected area, the projected area course and the different uh, freeboard point there is another way to to quick have a preview of your superficial object let me show the VRAP here okay it is with the Swarfish Hydro Preview here. We can connect the SFL output as input for the Hydro Preview and hiding the B wrap. I can see in yellow, in yellow the the design waterline in red the. the projected area and the related points so if I connect for example this standard uh, surface I can create a Swarfish Hull from open breath with the close Hull component
you can see basically there is a quick preview with the idle preview that I can manage with the boolean toggle basically uh, this is all set in set true by default but I can also switch this preview on off or I can hide just some just some some features that I want to to see okay and this is all parametric so I if I move the length overall here I can also have everything that is live uploaded okay so summarizing we have three steps different steps in the first step we have to build as well fish out In the second step, we have to run the hydrostatic. And then I can inspect. 